hello y'all so i decided to document i guess this like possible travel nurse journey that i'm about to or that i think i'm about to partake in so as you all know i recently quit my family nurse practitioner job and since quitting that job i haven't worked just yet like i haven't been out on any interviews i mean i've been applying for some mp jobs but and some of those applications have been moved up the chain of command i guess to the hiring manager for review however i still haven't gotten any phone calls or anything back i did want to take some time off like a month or so off just to be off you know but february will be here before i know it like today is january 15th or well, january the 14th excuse me so february will be here before before i know it and i need to go ahead and make a decision on what am i going to do like am i going to get more aggressive with trying to find an mp job or am i just going to jump back into this travel nursing thing so prior to becoming a family nurse practitioner i was or am a er nurse i worked in the er for about eight years before transitioning to my current fmp job that i just left and out of those eight years i was a travel nurse um for about three years from 2012 to 2015 so before travel nursing was like so popular and such a big deal i mean it was a big deal then but not like it is now travel nursing now is like a really big deal because the pay is so much like the pay wasn't like this when i was traveling and the pay is so much now because of covid you know so everybody was traveling and everybody are making these coins from traveling so since i'm in this stage of i don't really know what i want to do and i don't want to just jump into another mp job and i don't even like it like you know the reason why i left my last job i decided to play with the idea of possibly traveling again so one of my old travel companies reached out to me and i've been like updating my profiles and everything with them just in case i do take a travel assignment with them and then there's another company who i'm actually doing the chills the skills checklist for now so i'm currently doing like a skills checklist you know just to get get my resume and my skills checklist up on these two different travel company sites so i mean when it comes to travel nursing you know you can get assignments like that you know and they are paying paying really well like really really well like it's hard earned money but some quick hard earned money you know but that's what i'm doing now so i just decided to bring y'all along the journey let y'all know any updates or if i do take a travel assignment and so forth and so on but i did one my old travel company that i used to work with who reached out to me about some travel stuff i did write some stuff down i requested day shift now back when i worked in the er oh the lighting is back lit. there we go back when i worked in the er i did do night shift for several years my last maybe three years in the er i did switch over or maybe two years my last two years in the er i did switch over to day shift so if i do take a travel assignment in the er i would prefer it to be day shift now don't get me wrong i will take a night shift if it's a short contract like a three week four week contract any excuse me anything long term then no i would want to stay on days but my ultimate pre preference is day shift and non-trauma hospitals y'all your girl has been an er nurse for a long time and i am over the trauma okay so if it's a trauma facility i do not want to be there i leave that to the to the younger nurses and to the new nurses who enjoy all of that trauma but i'm over the trauma but um but yeah so that's what's going on just decided to pick up the camera to start documenting this and that's about it that's all i got for now i'll update y'all along this process especially if i go ahead and take a travel nursing job and just bring y'all along this journey with me agreement in which you are expected to comply and you'll be provided a written agreement electronically all right y'all so as y'all heard i just accepted a er position so y'all girl is going back to the er as a bedside nurse omg omg who would have thought who would have thought we would have went to nurse practitioner school, graduated as a whole nurse practitioner, worked as a nurse practitioner, and now we're going back to our quote-unquote first love, and that's travel nursing, you know? But that's where we're at. This assignment doesn't start until February 
28th. I wish it would have started a little sooner and not all the way to February 28th. I mean, I did want to take a month off, but now potentially I am taking almost two months off. It is just a three week assignment. So February 28th through March the 19th. I'm okay with it being a short assignment just because I haven't been in the ER and this short assignment will get my feet wet and then boots on the ground. Just just get back into my natural habitat of ER nursing. So hopefully I don't get beat up too badly. <laughs> and my main goal here is staying safe because I haven't had to be directly involved with these COVID cases. I was a little bit removed from it, which was a blessing in itself that I didn't have to be directly involved. So now pretty much I'm gonna be directly involved with these COVID cases. Another thing about the hospital that I'm going to, which I'm not gonna disclose the name of, but another thing about this hospital is not necessarily like a COVID crisis assignment, it's more of a EMR conversion. So they're going from one charting system and merging to another charting system. And I believe the charting system they're merging to is Epic, which I am familiar with. I'm not familiar with the charting system they're coming from, but I am familiar with the charting system that they are going to. So that's another reason why it's just a simple three week contract, but it's okay. I'm glad that I decided to take this next step and to just chill out with, just relax and just kind of chill out with trying to force myself on to taking on another MP job when I just don't know. Like I just don't know, y'all just don't know. But like I was saying in the video I made previous to this on why I quit my MP job, one thing about having a nurse, nursing license, you can do anything with it. And it doesn't matter if you was a nurse practitioner for 20 years and you want to go back to the bedside. Once a nurse, always a nurse. We just got our master's in it. It does not mean that we can't still work at the bedside practicing as an RN with your FMP license or with your nurse practitioner license. It does not mean that you can do both simultaneously. That is a-okay. So first assignment in the bag, like I said, it's not to February 28th. If anything new comes or if anything changes with this assignment, I'll pick the camera back up. This is going to be a lengthy blog. Well, not even a lengthy blog, but it's going to be a while before I pick the camera back up because I probably won't talk to you guys again until I actually like get ready and start that job. Or maybe I'll just end the video here. We'll see what happens, but your girl is a, tra a ER travel nurse again. <laughs> talk to y'all later.